Hello friends and fellow Chronites, welcome to my channel Kronos Guru. Today we're going to talk about the navigation of a manager within the Kronos application. But before that, uh, this is my very first video that I'm posting in my channel Kronos Guru. So I would request you all to subscribe and hit that bell button so that you get notified for my other videos. Alright, so please do subscribe. Okay, so I've logged in as a as a manager so that I can take you through the navigation part. At the same time, uh, this is Kronos version 8.1, which is the latest version, 8.1. And um, I have the, the main landing page on the screen, as you can see. So when a manager, a typical manager logs into the Kronos application, they will see the landing page or the home page called as Manage My Employees. And here you can also see the home button, which is the home page, manage my employees. And in Kronos, this is called as a workspace. And you can have additional workspaces, which you can access from this plus button, just like your Google Chrome. You can click on this plus button where you can see all the other workspaces which are there. And you can just access by clicking on any one of them. Let's go clockwise and on the top you will see for a manager, you will see the alerts. So this section on the top where you see some notifications, this section is called alerts. So the very first one, it says exceptions alert. So this manager has around about 77 exceptions. If he has to see them, he can simply click on the exceptions a lot and he can see all those employees who have exceptions the next one is the request manager alert this is where typically the alerts from the employees when they submit a time of request or for manager delegation those kind of requests will come in here in this section and the third one is workflow notifications alert at this point in time this manager doesn't have any alert but any company specifics uh, or pay period based notification or overtime notification, you can have them here. So this section on the top is called alerts where manager is notified for any, any notifications which are triggered by, uh, triggered from their employees. And right here on the extreme right next to the name and the sign out on the extreme right top hand side, you will see your search button. Um, on the search, it's like uh, you can search for the employee name, employee ID, and you will get to see all the information related to that employee that you are looking for. So search is a powerful tool which you can help to search for any information, not just employee, but you can also search for other information like uh, payrolls or, or employee uh, device group, so on and so forth. And right next to that, uh, or rather below that, you have this section which is called as related items, where you have widgets. So all of these which you see here, these are called widgets. And widgets are nothing but uh, a piece of dynamic content that is embedded within the Kronos application. A widget helps managers complete tasks such as um, accessing reports, updating the employee's time card, performing uh, other related activities like submitting time off on behalf of the employee or uh, approving the time card for the employees before the pay period is signed off. So they can be different widgets and all those widgets you can find under this section called as related items. And at times you can see that this section can be minimize something like this but still you can access this by hovering your mouse over the the box and you can see all those widgets or you can simply expand that and you can click on the hyperlink so when you click on this widgets it opens up in a new tab within the application and you can access that particular widget for now i've opened a, a reports widget 
And then you, you also have a widget which is open within that workspace. This is called Quick Find. As you can see, this widget is grayed out because it's already open here. So this widget allows the manager to access or find an employee just by typing the name of the employee or the employee ID. If the manager wants to see all the employees, the manager can simply click on this find with the asterisk there and all the employees will pull up. Otherwise, the employee can just type in the uh, few digits of the employee's employee ID and it will pull up the name and the employee ID that I have here as a, as a test employee. And then if the employee uh, or rather the manager wants to access the employee's time card, the manager can select that employee's record and click on go to and click on time card so go to is is more like a, a shortcut for accessing widgets or simply the manager can double click on the on that particular record and it will open the employee's time card Likewise, there are other functionalities and features which you can see on the landing page or the home page or in uh, the Kronos application, it is called as workspace. So there are a lot of other functionalities uh, which I will be covering these functionalities that you see in my other videos. Uh, but for now, you can um, just as a navigation, you can see that there are different buttons which are available for the manager to perform different tasks and I will be uh, taking uh, or creating another video to cover all the contents which are there inside each of this these buttons so that you get uh, more information about each of these. And right on uh, my related items I'll just open one of the widgets which is manager links because this is one of the links that the manager may use quite often because here uh, the manager has access to a few additional um, things that you can see on the screen. The manager can see something called as reconcile time card. Uh, this section is called as quick naps. So a manager can have different uh, quick naps which allows him to access uh, different information within the application. So this section, which is a reconcile time card, this is called as quick now. And on the other hand, or the other side of the page towards the right, you have something called as all home. So this section is called as hyperfine query or genies. This allows the manager to filter the employees. So if the manager wants to see only the active employees which are there in the system as of now, the manager can select that hyperfine query to filter the employees. If the manager wants to see uh, other managers, they can select uh, only the active managers who are there in the system as of now. Right next to uh, this is the time period. So the time period shows which pay period you are currently in. So you can have different pay periods like monthly, weekly, fortnightly, bi-weekly. So you can um, switch between one pay period to another by simply selecting the pay period. Or you can also select the date range if you want to um, look for information for more than one pay period or over um, maybe three months data within uh, by selecting the date range. If you do not want to access or if you do not uh, want to, uh, if you want to close any of the open widgets, you can simply click on X to close them out. As simple as that. And you are back to your landing page. Right. And um, And uh, I would also like to access few of the widgets and show you some more functionalities that the manager can perform within the application. For example, uh, within the manager links, where the uh, manager can access all the employees. 
if I were to access an employee's time card, I can just double tap on the name of the employee and it will take me to the employee's time card. And this is how the typical time card looks like. This is the timesheet of an employee that the manager is accessing. And here, um, as of now, you can see that this employee has the schedule, but there are no, uh, no punches. But typically the manager uh, can access an employee's time card and they can also punch, put in the punch time, punch in and out time on behalf of the employee. And um, putting in the in and out time is as simple as just uh, selecting the cell and entering the start and end time. So if this employee schedule is from 9.30 to 6.30 p.m., I can, uh, as a manager, can also enter the in and out time in case if the employee for some reason wasn't able to enter or swipe at the device or use the timestamp or employee couldn't come to work because the employee was offside where there was no device or clock to punch in and out. So uh, as, as a manager, you would have access to enter the time or select a pay code um, to define uh, the in and out time. And then there are a few other options here, like you can print the time card if required, you can click on calculate totals. So calculate totals is more to preview before you could save it. So as you can see, when I click on um, calculate totals, I could see my totals and I could also see uh, some pay codes generating at the bottom and the totals. And then I can also click on save. But um, in real life, you can you can directly click on save unless you want to have a preview of, of the totals. So you can see uh, the section here called as pay codes. So the manager can also add pay codes. Uh, this is the section for uh, whether the pay code is hours based, day based, or pay code is money based. So that will show up under amount. And the employee schedule, once it is being uh, assigned by the manager, the schedule will show up here. If the manager has not assigned the schedule, this section will be blank. Daily will show up the daily total for that particular day, and then period will show the cumulative total for that particular pay period. And at the bottom, you have a few options here like totals that will show the totals for the entire pay period, or you can also switch the all section to day so that if you want to see for a particular day how many hours the employee has worked, you can simply click on that particular day. Uh, if you select uh, your cursor on 10th, where there is no punch, it will show no data. But if you want to individually see the record, then you can click on that particular day. The default value is all. And then you have other tabs here, which is uh, accruals. Accruals will show all the uh, accrual details for the employee. Then you have historical corrections. If there are any historical corrections or retro changes that are being done for that employee, and then you have audits for any changes that were done on the employee's time card, any changes, whether it was manually done or whether the punch, what was the source of that punch, whether whether it was edited manually or did that come through uh, a, a physical device like the clock, then it will show the device manager under the data source. So audit is another um, uh, option within the time card to show what has happened uh, the history or the audits to show what has happened on the time card. So the default selection will be totals. And then from the time card also, a manager can navigate to other widgets. So it's more like a shortcut. So if you want to, if the manager want to access the reports only for this particular employee, the manager can click on go to and click on time cards, uh, go to and click on reports and it will open up in a new window within that in, within the application. And now this manager can run any report for that particular employee. There are other widgets as well within the uh, access, within the uh, related 
items that the manager can access like time cards. I will just give you a high level overview of what these uh, widgets do, what are the functionalities for these widgets. So time card is used to access the employees time cards. For example, this manager has 15 employees under him. So all those 15 employees time card this manager can access by selecting the time cards. Time card approval is used for approving the time card before the pay period could be signed off. Just to make sure that all the overtimes, request time off, exceptions are resolved. Schedule planner, this one is used to assign the schedules to the employees and change the schedules or edit the schedule or remove the schedule. Request manager, this widget is used for the managers to request time off on behalf of the employees. For some reason, if the employee is not able to submit the request, the manager can use a request manager widget to submit request on behalf of the manager. Punch exceptions, if there are any exceptions on the time card, like what you see here in red, those exceptions can be resolved by the manager by selecting punch exceptions and resolving those exceptions. Reports, uh, reports um, is a widget which allows the manager to run multiple reports. There are more than 100 standard reports that are available at the disposal, disposal, disposal of a manager, uh, which the manager can run at any time. They can also schedule uh, a report uh, and they can also print uh, a report if it is uh, set up with your printer. Um, then you have leaderboard, which shows uh, if, if it is set up within the, within the application to show who, who, um, who has been doing well when it comes to their in and out time, who is more accurate, who is coming on time, leaving on time, no exceptions. Uh, actions, this widget will show uh, or rather help the manager to, to um, delegate in case if they are going out of office, they can use actions to delegate to another manager. Inbox, inbox is like uh, the inbox within the Kronos application, just like you have your Outlook where you have inbox. This is the inbox within the application wherein you can get messages and notifications. Group edit results, whenever you make any group edits, for example, any uh, approval of overtime for a group of employees, or time card approval, it can show you the status of it. Daily task is one of the widgets which allows you to complete certain tasks which you are supposed to do on a day-to-day -day basis, like uh, clearing of the exceptions or approving the overtime or uh, approving the time of request, so on and so forth. So these are widgets which are very useful uh, for performing some of the tasks that the managers are supposed to. And uh, just to give a quick recap of uh, the manager navigation, once again, before we wrap up with this uh, navigation video, uh, the very first thing that the manager sees when they log in is the landing page or the main workspace, which is having the own icon there. And then in the top, this section is called alerts. And if you want to sign up, here's a sign up button. This is the search, which allows you to search for any content within the application. And this section has uh, all the widgets parked, which you can access just by clicking on the, the name or on the box. And then you can also do some additional, uh, there are additional buttons, which allows you to do some additional functionalities. And uh, you can simply click on them to check what they are, but I will be covering this in detail in uh, my other videos uh, in the coming days. So thank you everyone for watching this uh, video. I hope you like the, uh, the navigation of this video and the next video that I will be uh, coming up with will be navigation for uh, employee and also for administrators as well as for super users. So thank you again for everyone for watching this video right till the end and please do subscribe and thank you everyone. Thanks once again.